iPhone 10 versus LG G7 ThinQ speed test. That video is coming up right now. Let's go. My iPhone 10 versus LG G7 ThinQ speed test. Just picked up the G7 yesterday. Let's go ahead and begin with an iPhone 10 versus G7. Three, two, one on the boot up and see which one can boot up first. Now the LG G7 I have here on the right is an unlocked model. So there's no carrier bloatware or anything like that. So it's straight from LG, so just like Apple, straight from Apple, so it's a pretty fair comparison on that front. iOS over here, Android on the right, and you could see that we do have the iPhone 10 slightly booting up over the LG G7 Thin Q first. Okay guys, so let's start with the iPhone 10 with the face unlocked to see how fast it does unlock. Three, two, one. You do have to look at it and then swipe in. So it's a two-step process. So let's go ahead and do the LG G7 Thin Q with the face unlock. Three, two, one. And you could see it opened up three, two, one. And there it goes. So it doesn't take a two step process. Sometimes it's a little bit slow because I'm looking through a camera, the mic, the tripod is a little bit in the way, but it's pretty fast to unlock here on the LG G7 ThinQ. Although, although not quite as secure again as the face ID and on the iPhone and you cannot, you know, use biometrics to go ahead and sign into things like you can on the iPhone 10. So, you know, speed again on this Android phone versus uh, you, you could say a little bit better security for the iPhone 10s. So for this test, the iPhone 10 is running iOS 11.4.1 and the LG G7 ThinQ has Android 8.0.0 out of the box here. So let's get on with the app speed test. All right, guys. So here we are at the application portion. Everything is closed out on the iPhone 10, Apple A11, three gigs of RAM. Everything is closed out on the G7 ThinQ. This has four gigs of RAM and the Snapdragon 845. Let's begin with clock three, two, one. And you could see that was slightly to the LG G7. Let's go into calculator. And you could see that was the iPhone 10. This one was really close. I actually did the test before making the video and it was really hard to tell which one was quicker. Let's go into settings. And you could see that's the LG G7 ThinQ slightly. Let's go ahead and go into Play Store versus App Store, three, two, one. And you could see that's the LG G7 ThinQ scrolling through you know again fast scrolling smooth scrolling ios we know how that works let's go into instagram three two one and you can see instagram is first on the right definitely for the lg g7 going into the likes page you can see about the same going into the profile very similar so performance similar here on the instagram let's go home let's go into twitter and you can see twitter is open first for the LG G7 ThinQ, let's go over here to the bell. You can see once in the app about the same performance. Let's go into Snapchat. And you can see Snapchat, wow, that was pretty close. You guys have to call that one. Let's go into WhatsApp. And you can see WhatsApp is first on the right, coming home. Let's go into YouTube and see which one could get there first. That's the LG G7. So you could see about the same performance went in there again iOS just scrolls a little slower, but smoother. Uh, LG's scrolls faster down the page. So coming home, let's go into Prime Video. And we might see a little ad here on one of these, so that might not be fair. But nope, it's the LG G7 that wins that one, no ad. Let's go into eBay. And you can see eBay is first for the G7 ThinQ. Let's go ahead and click something in eBay to see how that loads up. And you could see iOS wins on that one. So when in the app, you know, sometimes I also perform better. Sometimes the LG G7 will perform better. Go into Amazon, three, two, one. And you could see Amazon is first on the right over the iPhone, but let's go ahead and click this link again. And you could see that the LG G7 wins there. So again, it's just gonna go back and forth. Sometimes the iOS will fly open first. Sometimes the G7, again, 1X animations here. The G7 will feel faster if you lower the animation. Let's do that again for the iPhone 10. Let's just, let's just redo that whole thing right there for both devices. Three, two, one. And you could see there goes the iPhone 10. So when they do work, it seems like the iPhone 10 is a little bit faster. Adreno 630 here. Let's go into Dead Trigger 2, 3, 2, 1. Highest graphic settings I put on the LG G7 before making this test. You can see the iPhone 10 way ahead there of the G7 when it comes to loading this game up. And there we go. We are in and ready to play. And the G7, we're still waiting. 
So on high graphic settings, the iPhone 10 still has the more, you know, prowess and performance when it comes to the gaming. Let's go into the Mario Run 3, 2, 1. And you can see Mario Run looks like it's going to take the lead for, is it the G7 or is it the iPhone? So the iPhone takes the win and then the G7. So the iPhone showing its stuff here in the gaming round, waiting on the G7, and there we go. Let's go into Slither and see which one wins here. And Slither wins on the iPhone again. So iPhone for gaming, it's still that way even if you're trying to get an LG G7. This is not going to be the phone that beats the iPhone in the gaming round. Let's go into Geekbench, and you can see Geekbench look like the iPhone there. Let's go into Speed Test. And you can see it's the LG G7 there and Video Shop. And that one goes to the iPhone. So they basically traded blows in a lot of areas throughout this speed test. But the LG G7 pretty much opened most of these regular apps first. But the iPhone came back swinging in the gaming round. But let's see how they do in multitasking now. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and run through multitasking. Same application. Just going the other way now to see if we get a reload. Video Shop. You can see the LG G7. A little bit of a stutter there. Speed test. And same thing there, Geekbench. Looks like the LG G7 had to reload that one. Let's go into Slither. And holding that one just fine in the background. What about Mario Run? You could see similar performance there. Let's go into Dead Trigger 2. Both held that in the background just fine. Good job. Let's go into Jetpack Joyride. And looks like the LG G7 ready to play as well as the iPhone 10. Let's go into Amazon. And you could see the iPhone 10 a little bit swifter there, but we still had it open on the G7 as well. Let's go into eBay. And eBay held on both. Let's go into Prime Video. And pretty similar. I think the G7 a little slower there, but the G7 does have 1x animation. So if these look a little faster, if we put these on 0.5, it would be quicker for the LG G7. Let's go into YouTube. And you could see YouTube had to reload for the iPhone. Let's go into WhatsApp. And you can see the iPhone wins there. What about Snapchat? And both had to reload there. Let's go into Twitter. And LG G7 had that open. Instagram. LG G7 had that open. Let's go into Play Store, App Store. And you can see about the same. What about settings? And that was the iPhone. Calculator. iPhone again. And clock. So those last few apps, they actually had to reload those. So the RAM management on both of these is actually quite similar as they both have a lower amount of RAM compared to some other flagships like six gigs and eight gigs. These have four and three. So they basically perform very similar on the RAM management department. Okay, so I shot a little 30 second video on both of these to see which one might give us a little bit better rendering in the video shop in three, two, one, let's hit done. And you could see they both imported that. Let's go into next. And see which one can compile this first. Looks like I have to do this before I go ahead and compile. Let's put that on high settings. And let's save this to the gallery and just hit next for the iPhone. Three, two, one. See which one can compile that video first. LG pretty quick. The iPhone pretty quick is very fast as well. iPhone 10 is done. And the LG G7 slightly behind it. Not bad performance on the upload there for the LG. But the iPhone's still ahead here when it comes to rendering out your videos. Let's go ahead and run a Geekbench. I will be back when the scores are done. Okay, so the final Geekbench scores are in, and the iPhone 10 scores a whopping 4237, just eating up the LG G7 Thin Q for breakfast on the single core, on the multi core 10,340, and crushing it on the multi core as well. So Geekbench still reigns supreme for the iPhone. They really got some high Geekbench scores. But in the real world, which one is quicker? They're very similar. There's not going to be too much on the day-to-day. -day. They're both high-end premium performance flagships, and you're not going to see too much of a difference. But I think uh, in terms of raw power, the iPhone 10 is still just a little bit quicker, especially when it comes to gaming and video editing where, you know, the phones really need more power. The iPhone 10 seems to just have a little bit more muscle than the LG G7. But the LG G7 ThinQ is not $1,000. It came down all the way to about $629 on B&H, so it's about $400 less and it doesn't perform $400 slower, but that's it. The iPhone 10 versus LG G7 ThinQ speed test. If you want to see any more videos on the LG G7 ThinQ, this is a new phone on the channel. Go ahead and drop them down below in the comment section of this video. And I thank you very much for watching this one. Thumbs up if you